Hey friends, Mindy here, and I've got some encouragement for some of you today who've got the blues. Maybe you're down in the dumps, or maybe you're in a really deep emotional place. Well, there's some good news in John chapter 11 about the resurrection power of Jesus. In this scripture, we find Jesus resurrecting a body from death to life. But also we realize that Jesus has the power and has given us the power to resurrect things in our life. Maybe you need to resurrect some joy today in your life. Maybe you need to resurrect some passion or zeal that you once had. Maybe you need to resurrect peace because you've been living in turmoil and worry. Maybe you need to resurrect a relationship that's been in shambles lately. Or maybe you need Jesus to resurrect your family life. Whatever it is, that power is available to us. In this chapter, we see Jesus coming to the home of Mary and Martha, who are just in grief. And they come to him, they said, if you had only been here, then you could have saved him. And Jesus in this moment shows his human side. You see, Jesus was fully man and fully God. He experienced all the motions and temptations and struggles that we experience. So if you ever think for a moment that Jesus doesn't get you, that God doesn't care or understand, or he doesn't see you crying, that's a lie from the enemy. Jesus cares. And in fact, he cared so much that in John chapter 11, verse 35, it says, Jesus wept. He cried with Martha and Mary. Not because he was sad that he was missing Lazarus, because he knew what was about to happen. He hurt for them. He cried for them. The Bible says we, to, we are to weep with those who weep, and that's exactly what Jesus does here. But he also knows that that's not the end of the story, and he goes on to resurrect Lazarus. He goes to the tomb, and he says, roll away the stone. He looks up to God, and he thanks him for listening. You see, he says, God, I thank you that you hear me, but just for the sake of everybody else here, to know that I am the one that you sent. We're going to pray anyway, even though I know you hear me. I know your will. And then he says, Lazarus, come forth. And the man walks out of the tomb. And I, I encourage you today to get your resurrection in whatever era you need the way that Jesus did. You don't have to spend hours pleading or crying to God, wondering if he hears you. You don't have to wonder if it's his will for you to live an abundant life because you know it is. Say, thank you, God, that you hear me. I am asking you resurrect the joy in my life. I'm thanking you that you're resurrecting peace in my life. I'm receiving those gifts of the Spirit, and I'm resurrecting kindness. I'm resurrecting my marriage by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead is living on the inside of me, resurrecting old dead things to new life. I want to end with one lyric that encourages me, and it's from Resurrecting um, by Elevation. It says, By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. How powerful is that? I pray that encourages you today to get your joy or your peace or restore those dead things in your life. In Jesus' name, have a great day. God bless.